Today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to enable animated boot logos on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Now the way we're going to be using this is Red Snow. Now this is the r l updated version of Red Snow from a few days ago when I showed you guys the tutorial. So if you've already run Red Snow, and no, uh, we're gonna keep that. Uh, but if you've already run Red Snow, then you don't have anything to worry about. You can just rerun this over the top of it, and all it will do is enable animated boot logos. So if you've already done that, you're good to go. Um, otherwise, I will give you guys a quick tutorial showing you how to jailbreak. Uh, really simply, as always, you need to uh, hook your iPod, iPhone, or iPad into the computer and let it back up through iTunes. Uh, now this is uh, compatible with all the same devices from the previous jailbreak, so that means the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and the iPad 1. This does not support the iPad 2 yet. There's another jailbreak coming for you guys, so if you have an iPad 2, just hang tight for a little bit longer. So, let's go ahead and get this started. So, the th two, two things we're going to need is uh, the IPSW for our device. Um, this should be pretty simple, especially if you just did the Red Snow Jailbreak, you probably already got it hanging around. If not, check out the link in the description. I will have a link showing you how to find it or download it, whichever you need to do. And you also need to download Red Snow, which of course will also be in the description. So, if you're on Windows, it's going to be really simple. You need to right click the Red Snow program and click on Properties. Then you need to come over to the Compatibility tab and have it run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. Uh, now, I did have a couple of questions from last time. Uh, now, XP Service Pack 3 is what works best for me. However, if that's not showing on your uh, operating system or anything like that, feel free to try a different one. It should work the same way. You can just experiment around. Worst case scenario, it just doesn't work and you just have to restart it. So, not a big deal. Um, you also want to run this program as an administrator. Now, this only applies if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7, so please do keep that in mind. So we're going to run the program here, and we'll give you guys a quick little demo. So just like on the other jailbreak, it's going to ask us for our IPSW. Uh, at this point, you should hopefully have it, so we're just going to have it uh, process the firmware really quickly here. Okay, so once it successfully identifies our IPSW, we can click Next. Take just a moment to prepare the jailbreak data, and we'll be good to go. Uh, just a really quick warning here, of course, just to be sure before we go any farther, you should have your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad plugged into your device, or rather your computer, and it should be on 4.3.1. It does not matter if it was previously jailbroken using Red Snow or Snow Breeze or not, as this, of course, like I said, will run over your previous jailbreak without causing you any issues. Okay, so once it's finished, you'll see a couple of options here. Now, if you have not jailbroken before, be sure to check and make sure that Install City is checked. However, if you already did Install City and you've already jailbroken, you, we want to unclick this. So as you guys can see here, I already have City installed, so I'm going to not install City again. Now, there's going to be a couple of other options, including Custom Bundle and a couple of others. However, the, what we're looking for is Allow Boot Animation. So as you guys can see here, you can install boot animations from Cydia. So we're good, going to be good to go. Just be sure that you want to uh, enable this no matter what. If, you're jail if this is the first time you're jailbreaking or you're just rerunning this over. Okay, so next we're going to need to come over to our device and put it into DFU mode. So let me give you guys a little tour on this here. So with your iPod or iPhone, and of course you should have it all backed up. Uh, same uh, warning as always. This, you should not lose any data in this jailbreak, but there's always a chance. And if you have it backed up in iTunes, you don't have anything really to lose. So what we're going to need to do is have our device plugged in. And we need to turn it off. So by simply holding the power button and then slide the power off. Now, what, the one thing that a lot of people have problems with is you guys can see there's a little pinwheel spinning. Wait until that pinwheel stops and the screen goes totally blank. Sometimes this just takes a couple of seconds. Other times it can take um, a minute or two. So be sure that it is actually off. Otherwise, you could run into some problems. So as you can see here, the pinwheel is still spinning, but we can just give that just one second. We can continue on with the jailbreak. Okay, so now we need to put it into DFU mode. This is going to be a really simple procedure. To hold the power button, hold the power and home, then release the power button. And, you know, of course, will walk us through it. So I click Next. It's going to hold the power button for three seconds. And we're going to start holding the power and the home for ten seconds. And, of course, the countdown will do that, so you guys can just keep an eye on that, and it'll, it'll walk you through it pretty easily here. And so now we can remove the power button and continue holding the home button until it says we get the all clear. Uh, it says 15 seconds. Almost always it takes 5 or 10 in my opinion, but there we go. So now we can let go of our iPod or iPhone and just let Red Snow work its magic. Okay, so it just finished. So as soon as we're done, you should still either see City and Now appear on your device, or if it was already on there, you won't really notice any difference. However, now you can download uh, animated boot logos from Cydia. 
So anyway guys, that was a quick tutorial just showing you how to do that. Um, well, maybe it was not such a quick tutorial, but not a big deal. And if you want those animated boot logos, this is definitely the easiest and fastest way to get them. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed, be feel free to subscribe right above. I do lots of other jailbreaking content. So if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe and I would appreciate it. <laughs>